Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett from Parnassus Books. And today I am going to be filling or trying to fill Kat's little tiny shoes. I'm doing the adult laydowns. I have a lot of things to talk to you about. First, I wanna say this Joan Didion book came out last week. I read it this weekend. You know what clarifying shampoo is when you have a lot of buildup in your hair from you know product and then you use the clarifying shampoo and it makes it fresh again? That's what reading old Joan Didion essays are like. Suddenly your brain just feels clear. It was wonderful. I really loved it. A few paperbacks I've got to talk about today. Ariel Lahan's codename Helene. We're having an event with her tonight. That's going to be really excited. So go on the website and check out the details. Actress by Anne Enright, just out in paperback today. A really one of my favorite books from last year. Also, it's an amazing audiobook. Check out Libro FM, Anne Enright reads it herself. Deacon King Kong, Jim McBride, one of the New York Times best 10 books of the year. And in this case, they were right. This is gonna be a huge book for book clubs. Loved every minute of it, read this. Okay, now this is what I stayed up half the night reading last night and it's what I'm gonna be reading all day today. Mike Nichols' biography by Mark Harris. I picked it up not because of Mike Nichols, but because of Mark Harris, because his book, Pictures of the Revolution, is one of my all-time favorites. I'm enjoying this like crazy. City of a Thousand Gates is a first novel by Rebecca Sachs, and it is a present-day account of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, and it was recommended to me by my friend Jane Byrne, who is one of the smartest, best readers that I know. So I haven't read this yet, but I have it on excellent authority that it is a terrific debut. David Duchovny and Ethan Hawke both have books out today. Am I being kind of um, snobby and weird about that? Yeah, because I want to be a movie star. Devil you know. Charles Blow, fabulous New York Times op-ed. I'm interested in everything Charles Blow has to say. Check that out. This is gonna wind up being on everybody's top 10 list at the end of 2021. My Year Abroad, Chang Ray Lee. This is our February 1st editions club pick. It is such a fantastic novel. Think, Great Expectations, meets The Great Gatsby, meets The Goldfinch with a dash of Kevin Wilson. It's epic, it's weird, it's funny, it's scorching smart, and it is a huge page turner. Okay, Kristen Hanna has a new book about the Dust Bowl. Maybe you haven't read a good book about the Dust Bowl since you last read Grapes of Wrath in high school. Maybe you should read them both together. That would be a fun project. And then my last one, Mark Bittman, the wonderful cookbook writer, has written Animal Vegetable Junk about the food situation in America today. Maybe you also want to read Animal Vegetable Miracle by Barbara Kingsolver, who he ripped off for the title. Okay, that's a ton. Thanks so much. Here's Ray Ann. Hi, everybody. I want to start with a great new picture book today by Matt De La Pena and Christian Robinson. This is Milo Imagines the World. It's about a boy who's riding the subway and imagining the lives of all the other people that are going his way. But once he arrives, he finds out they have more in common than he thought. Follow That Frog by Philip Stead and Matthew Cordell. A knock at the door comes, but who is it? And an aunt tells her niece a tall tale about her travels around the world while they wait to answer the door. You'd be surprised who's there on the other side. In graphic novels today, we have Brightly Woven by Alexandra Bracken, Lee Dragoon, and Kit Seaton. This is a book about a girl who is joined by a wizard. They must make it to the capital in time to save her land. It's full of dark wizards and magic. A new installment of the Babysitter's Club today, Claudia and the New Girl. In middle grade, we have Ground Zero by Alan Gratz. This is a 9-11 book told by a boy who is visiting his dad's office in the Twin Towers when the attacks happen, alternately told by a girl in 2019 Afghanistan 
who wants to be a teacher. We'll be having an event with Alan next week. It's a school style event for teachers in their classrooms and anybody who'd like to watch. The Mysterious Disappearance of Aiden S. as told to his brother by David Levithan. This is a book about a boy whose brother disappears and returns seven days later with an unbelievable story. Everyone thinks he ran away and only his brother believes what actually happened. In YA, we have Love is a Revolution by Renee Watson. This is about a girl who plans to spend her summer full of binging movies and eating ice cream until she falls in love and pretends to be a social activist. We also have The Project by Courtney Summers. This is about a girl who infiltrates a cult to find out what happened to her sister and is surprised by what she finds. Thanks so much for listening and thank you for shopping local.